Hello everyone, I'm Arrow in the Knee, and today is the 1st of September. What does that mean for us who play Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh yeah, a brand new fucking format! So, I'm going to be going through a fair few decks over the next couple of days, of which I think are going to be the, de the best decks, uh, and this, I think, uh, got touched the absolute least of all of the decks. Uh, this is Evil Swarm. Uh, I've... Of course, had to do some changes to it. As you might see, there are no heliotropes and no rescue rabbit. Because I feel that having one rescue rabbit in the deck with three heliotrope just isn't worth it. It really isn't. Uh, so I replaced that with a couple of things. Um, I got a little bit of tech in here. It's uh, more for the mirror match, but it's a very good card in general. That's Evil Swan Lantern, which is pretty much Exile Force, if anyone remembers that from back in the day. Tribute this card, destroy a uh, face it monster your opponent controls. This is great for the mirror match. It takes out Ophion really easily because it's a monster effect. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, I've added two Veilers to this deck. Veilers just such a strong card. Um, I'd love to run three in every deck, but I can't find room for three. I also like one Max C. Just if you go second and someone's playing Karakuri, which people are loving these days, then you can stop them. If people playing Fire Fist, you can stop them, or at least get something out of it. And I prefer to run more maxis, but I can't find the room. Uh, so I've got two in the side. Uh, the rest of the deck is pretty normal. Uh, I've got the three Thunderbird, three Machagora, three Kirikion, and three Caster. Um, I've run two Lance because the back row isn't very strong at the moment, and this kind of just helps getting around uh, you know, bottomless and stuff like that. And Lance is just a good card in general. I think it's one of the best spells you know, in the game that's not Dark Hole. Um, got the normal three pandemic. We got one MST. Uh, I think that's just in there because it is. I, I I probably should just put something specific in there, but yeah, three duality, four consistency. Of course, you can't special summon in turn you use it, but you know, it's three pot duality. It's one of the biggest things that just came out of this format. Two. Two duality isn't that consistent in getting one in your first hand, but three really is. So I, I love three duality, and if it means getting Ophion out one turn, like, whatever. Uh, I got one bottomless, of course you can only use one of those. One compulsory, you can only use one of those. One warning and one torrential, you can only use one of those, and they're all good cards, so I've got them in. Two dimensional prison, I'm just testing this, I'm not quite sure on how dimensional prison's gonna work for this format. I didn't really like Dimensional Prison before this, but then again, they've took away a lot of our back rows, so we kind of need Dim Prison. Uh, I'm very tempted to put two Mirror Force and just one Dim Prison. Uh, I'm tempted to take Eradicator out, but because it's one, I'm like, well, I can't use it anymore, really, so it must be good. <laughs> That's how it feels sometimes. Got two safe zone, because I think it's one of the best cards in the game. Should have been limited to one, because of the... Uh, the combo with Key Beetle, seriously, what are people going to do against Key Beetle? Um, other than that, there's nothing really crazy, it's just a normal Evil Swarm deck. Uh, side deck, couple of Max C to make it up to three, I should have another Veiler in here really. A Snowman Eater, just because it's a really good card, I have no idea why limiter rules in there, what the fuck? I'll put a Vanity Fiend in there. Um, two MST to make it up to three, three Dust Tornado to make it up to six Spell Trap removal. Two Soul Taker, because it's just a good card in general. Um, Chain Disappearance, I really love this card, it's a really cool card, it can get rid of a lot of, uh, like, the stray, um, how do I say this, a stray, uh, Insecto deck, that just will keep going. And also, Chain Disappearance takes out a full scapegoat set, so that's kind of cool. Um, Three Vanity Emptiness, because it's one of the best cards ever. I just can't main deck it. I just can't. I, can, I can't find it in my heart to run it. And one Vanity Sphinx. Alright, so let's uh, set as default and save the deck. I think we're, uh, we've are we got this all sorted. There's nothing wrong with our deck, is there? I hope not. Alright, and let's go play some Ranked. This should be pretty good, guys. Uh, TCG plus OCG. Okay, okay. I wonder what that means. TCG plus OCG? I don't even know. Either way, let's do this. We are ready. We're going scissors because this guy's going to go paper. No, he wants scissors. I'm sticking with scissors. Fuck this. Oh, he's sticking with scissors. I'm going paper. He's so going rock. No, he went scissors. Damn you. I really wanted to tie that. But I'm not going to because, you know, I don't want to be mean. I'm not a mean person. 
Uh, he gets to go first, which is a distinct disadvantage, but I'd like to draw Max Seal or Veiler. Safe Sun and Dark Hole, Spin Lance, D really? Five spells and traps? That's pretty damn terrible. Especially seeing as though my deck is like half monsters, so. I think we lose this one, to be honest. This, this is pretty much a straight loss. You take 800. I do? <laughs> okay, 800. 1000. So this is a Bernadette. I can deal with this. Well, not really. But I do have Eradicators, so if I can get something going... I'm Dark Holding that. That's so Morphing Jar. <laughs> That's so Morphing Jar. That's getting Dark Hold. Nope, just Discoil. Okay, I can deal with that. Alright. Thunderbird! Go! Thunderbird's so fucking broken. It's unreal. Attack for 1650. I do like this koala though. Um, a lot of people really don't like committing to the field too much, so it does a lot of damage. All right, so that's uh, dimensional prison safe zone. You know, what, fuck it, I'm setting the lock because what, what is he gonna run heavy storm? Is he gonna run? Um, is he gonna run black rose? Is he gonna run something that will wipe the field? No, he's not. He's he's playing fucking burn. So there's nothing wrong with me setting everything. So I can deal with it. And Thunderbird is just going to be great. He's going to have a real problem getting around this guy. He's, I'm going to attack and he's going to go Cylinder. I can just banish. Uh, so far, your opponent draws one card. Oh, okay. Then, select one Pyrotype monster in your deck and remove from play. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of the removed monster. Uh, okay, so 15... That's a lot of damage. Uh, you can activate this card if you declare an attack. Okay. That's really kind of cool. I love how it tells me what I'm going to do. Alright, so... Well, let's MST is back card. I think I'm going to go Eradicator into this motherfucker. Just desserts. I guess he's... Hmm. Is he chaining it? I guess not. If he chains, I'll just banish Thunderbird, so... It'll be no damage. Um, I might chain that. I might chain Thunderbird. Hmm. I probably should. Unless he's not chaining? Okay, he's not chaining, I guess. I guess it just doesn't know how to chain. Um, so we can go into Ophion and then Eradicator or attack. I'll just attack. Let's see what it is. Let's have a look, see. Okay, Marshmallow. I take a thousand. Um, I think I'm gonna go Thunderbird. I'm going to Ophion. Should it be Ophion, really? Um, yeah, let's do this. I hate that I've got no monsters at the moment because that would make this perfect. Effect. Yeah, because if I have one more monster, then this would just work so well for me. Alright, so let's go for our, um, what's it called? Maybe we should go for Infection over Pandemic, because we don't actually need Pandemic. So let's go for Infection, so we can just search for Curriculum when we draw a monster. Um, got enough back cards. Let's just go for it, fuck. Um, he's... What do you think he plays more spells or traps? I'm feeling... Hmm... Traps. Let's see what is in his hand. Come on, bro, you gotta show your cards! You gotta show... you gotta show your thing. Alright, it's so Fire Trooper. When this card is summoned, you can send it to Gregor to inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Okay. So that's that. I hear an ice cream van, guys! It's ice cream time for everyone. Um, we should all get an ice cream. Okay, let's let him have a turn. So he draws, I get to see it. Show. Show the card. Okay. It's a spell. Alright, I take 800. Ooh, I'm getting slightly low here. 
I wish I had, like, compulsory evacuation device here. That'd be great. Uh, I do need to draw a monster next turn, pretty much. Okay, can I safe zone that guy to stop him from doing his thing? Meh, whatever. I'll take a thousand. Oh, this kind of sucks. Maybe maybe Trap Hole's actually just a really good card in general now. Alright. So let's draw. Come on, monster. Really? Do I just never get to draw a monster ever? Shit. Tremendous fire, take a thousand. Man, I knew it was right to go for spells. I really did. Um... Give me a monster card. I just need to draw a monster! Fuck! Oh my god, I really... Maybe I should have just put those three Heliotrope and the Rescue Rabbit in on top. Okay, so you just deserves. It's gone, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Yay! Oh man, maybe I should actually use this guy. Uh, this guy's the one that I tribute and get... What have I got in my grave? Um, no. So let's put this guy back to the top of the deck. View. It kind of sucks for us at the moment, guys, because one more card will probably kill us. But let's get Kirikion. Kirikion's our baby. Uh, so we get Kirikion. We're going to banish... What's his name? Ophion. We're gonna get Thunderbird back to our hand. Of which we are going to normal summon now. Let's have a look in our extra deck. Um, we're actually very close to killing him. Because we've got, uh, whatchamacallit, compulsory. Hmm. So let's see. Um, I'm not quite sure about Curriculum. Uh, it's just. If it was sent there by blah blah blah, blah he can banish one elsewhere monster, also gains. Okay, it doesn't negate any effects or anything like that. That's kind of cool. So at the end of the turn, I could just get Thunderbird back to the deck, search another. Hmm, I'm not even sure what I should do here. <laughs> okay, um, I shouldn't bounce it back and attack. That's just dumb. Um, what have I got in my extra? What actually is in here? A Dime Dire Wolf, I could. Kill it. Uh, okay, you cowboy. Actually, how much damage would this do? 1650, 1650, then 800. Mm, not enough. Uh, Popple operative could put it to attack. Okay, alright. Let's do compulsory. I just want to get some damage on this motherfucker. Let's wail on him. Be about 3200. So we're on 26 now. Okay. Is that safe zone or not? I don't think so. Um, just in case he draws lava golem, I should probably go into Ophion. I'm not sure though. <laughs> ah, that's tough. You know, if he draws lava golem, I suck. But at least next game this will be a lot easier because I can just side in the MSTs and dust, so that'll be good. Watch him have Lava Golem now. I'll be so mad. Ah, oh, it was a monster. Um, okay. I win. Infection effect. And I have the perfect card here. Evil Swarm my Lantern. Should be this Oh no, it's only face up, shit. Alright, this is fine though. So we can just summon this guy. And go into our Ouroboros. Uh where the fuck are your Ouroboros? And this guy is able to deal with this. Detach effect. No flip back to hand. Good, good. 
And hopefully he doesn't have uh, Battle Fader. Battle Fader would suck so bad now. Yes. Okay. So, Bottomless Trap Pole is useless. Compulsory is okay. Dimension Prisons are useless. Safe Zones, pretty useless. Uh, um, pff, torrential Solemn Warning is pretty useless. So, do, 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 do. Let's just sort this all out. Da, 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 da. Maxi is probably useless. Uh, what the fuck can I put in instead of that, though? Uh, maybe Chain Disappearance. Well, I like Chain Disappearance here, actually, because that actually stops one of his guys and it'll get rid of them all. Alright, here's a go first. Let's see what happens. Four Watchers. G G G G G. I'm glad I did that, uh, that move with the compulsory. It was just... Oh my god! I drew five spell of traps again! At least two of them are MST. That's pretty bad though. Fuck. Ugh. Alright. Let's just uh, hope he doesn't just beat me down with marshmallow. That would suck. Alright. 800. I know! God, what's the guy's problem? He runs a burner deck. What is he gonna say? I gained twelve hundred. Do <sighs> he killed himself last game with tremendous fight. By the way, I wouldn't have been able to get the damage unless he used it. So that's always nice. Uh, okay. I prefer to set MSTs here. And I'm also going to set four just in case it's more finger. Yeah, because um, if if they're chainable spells or traps, then you know, you know, I want rid of them. But if they're chainable, I can't. Although I, I think he would have used them already. So I'm going to MST this motherfucker. See what it was. Just desserts. No, nah, fuck it. I'm going for this one too. I hope it's not chainable. What the fuck is this? Activate by sending two cards from you. Hand to the graveyard while your opponent has three th more than 3,000 life. Inflict 2,000 damage. This is, oh wow, that's, that's deadly. Um, okay. I'm going to set that at end. Because then I'll just play it and then if he plays any spells or traps I can just send it back to the deck. And like he's got just desserts and like some Madragora. So he's set two. That's cool with me. Special summon! In attack. I'm also going to activate this. Not using its effect yet. I'm just having it active so I can chain. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What could I do here? Um. Um. Uh. I'm tempted to just attack both. Because, I mean, he's got disc koalas and he's got marshmallows. I can evil from a lantern one of them away. So let's do this. Hopefully, it's not Mirror Force. Just desserts. Chain infection. Uh, and I'm going to put. Is it. Okay, two. I'm going to put this guy to the top of the deck. And I'm going to search Madrigora, because you can search the same one. Yeah? Check this. And I take 500 damage. And then, because he's got more monsters, special summon it back. Perfect! See, that's why I played it first. Um, okay, so... I'm probably just going to attack with both. Uh, hopefully there's no horribleness going on here. But I'm thinking Marshmallow and maybe Desqualla. So Desqualla... So 400 plus 350, or is it 250? It's 250. Add 100. Evil Swarm Lantern, go! Kill the face down! And what is it? Oh my god, Stealth Bird, that needs to go. Alright, so 50 damage. No, 50? Yeah, 50 damage. Alright, um, I'm going to... In main phase two, lantern effect. Tribute lantern. I'm gonna kill Stealth Bird, because that is not staying. Stealth Bird is old school card from fucking. What sets it from? Oh my god, it's from. Invasion of Chaos, which is where Chaos Emperor Dragon, Blackless Soldier, 
And all those other cards came from. Uh, what else was in it? Dimension Fusion? Like, loads of real... That, that set changed the game to an insane amount of stuff. Alright, so... Infection in the end phase. That's always good. Um, Dime Pro... Um, you know what? I'm going to go for Lantern. I'm actually going to go for Lantern here. And if I draw an Evil Swarm, then I can get a Curriculum and get Lantern back, which is fantastic. Uh, so I drew Dust, which is a good card in this situation. But watch this. I'm going to Torrential. Chain Infection. This is the greatest card ever. Do do do. Um, should I get Kuriki on? I like Thunderbird. I can just keep changing between them, so that's all good. Uh, now I'm going to set my Dust, which is really effective against this motherfucker. And then I'm going to win. Slowly whittling him down. I need to get Kuriki on going. I've only got one in the grave. Meter of destruction, 2000, blah blah blah. I'm just gonna set and I'm gonna dust tornado! Dust! Anything, anyone know dust? Alright. So let's just wail on him with Evil Swan Thunderbird right now, it's all good. Thunderbird's just fantastic, it really is. The amount of games I've played with the regular deck where someone summons Thunderbird and I can't deal with it because my monsters just aren't big enough and I'll play Dimension Prism, banish. Play this, banish. Uh, 800 damage, he's losing cards to do to do all this damage. You know, burn decks are, you know, if they changed a lot of the burn cards to having like an extra 400 damage on them, burn decks would be the best thing ever. They've, it's so, so close, the whole thing. All right, pot duality, that's a good card. Um, change of appearance. I might keep change of appearance here. I, I'm very scared of putting two monsters in the field because of um, Lava Golem. But then again, I could normal summon, then go to Ophion. So I'm going to grab change of appearance because he's got that monster that's a thousand attack, and I could just banish it. Thousand, it's got a thousand attack, and he can banish it to do some damage. All right, so I'm going to summon. I'm going to. Oh shit, I can't, I can't fucking go into thingamajiggy. Oh, but then, in the draw phase of the next turn, I can just put it back in my deck. Okay, that's good. I, I'm happy. I'm, I'm scared of Lava Golem here. I really am. So, sir. Uh, so. End turn. To the top of deck. And... Get another lantern to hand. Lantern, so good. Alright. Just so he can't lava golem on me. Because, what do they run? Lava golem. And I, I don't really feel like losing. Oh, that's such a good card. I get to draw though. 1500, I'd imagine this is. Two cards left, and he hasn't used them. I really think one's lava golem. I really do. I honestly think one of them is lava golem. So, I think I've played around as well. Uh, Final Flame, 600. Why is he not playing a Kaizy? 1100. Do you have it? I got to dust. If it's a trap, it's not going to work, bro! Uh, that's enough damage. For GG. Oh my god, it's Fader! Holy shit, I didn't expect it to be Fader, to be honest. Okay, um... If he draws Lava Golem, then... Well, then I win, because it'll do a thousand damage and I'll get rid of Fader. Um, is there anything in here that could be good? Um, hmm. Okay, let's, um, let's go into Cowboy. Yeah, Cowboy in defense. Make him take some damage. Um, dust kills him. I think there's only one card he can win with, and that's the uh, Spirit of Fire, Soul of Fire. And if he gets that, that sucks for me. But what can you do? Uh, can't think. He's, I don't think he's running any tribute monsters. 
So there's no point in compulsory right now. Sorry, mate. GG. Oh, wow. That was GG for him if he got that off. Let's grab our curriculum. Here we go. This is it. It's GG. Do 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 do. Let's use the effect of this guy first. Then this one lantern. Put this guy to attack. Tap the game. Whew. Playing Bernadex is horrible. Watch my necro guy now, I didn't notice. Alright, that was cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you've enjoyed this look at the new Evil Swarm deck. I really like Evil Swarm with Lantern. It's very, very cool. It's got really good stats. It's an Evil Swarm. You can get it with Infection. It's a searchable dis monster destruction. Um, probably not a good idea to run two. I'm still not sure about running um, uh, Heliotrope and Rabbit, because there's just one rabbit. It's... it's I don't know. Um... Either way, guys, uh, leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments, because this, this is the time of year where everyone is just scrambling together to try and make a deck and see what works. Like, there's, at the moment, I, I can name, off the top of my head, probably eight decks that are going to be good. Uh, Gear Gear, Eel Swarm, Madolchi, uh, Dragon Ruler Spellbooks, they're both still very good. Um, TG, Stun, Bullshit, Normal Stun... Um, oh, come on, I need an... Oh, Tidal Mermail. Um, oh, Fire Fist. That's nine. Fuck. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot. And Harpies are going to be good soon. So, yeah, this is a good time in the format. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the beard. Bye.